What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has finally started rolling out the brand new update for the Galaxy S24 series in my region. This update would have arrived on the Galaxy S24 series in the US and Europe a couple of weeks ago. In the beginning of July itself, you would have got the security patch for 2024 July. Now here in India and in a few other countries, we have just got the update on this device and it's kind of strange. Uh, the latest device, the S24 series, getting the update after the Galaxy S22 series and S23 series. Yes, I have already got the update for the S22 and S23 series, uh, the security patch for July 2024. And now, after those two devices, I have got the update on the S24 series. This is the S24 Ultra I have got here. Let's go to the settings here and tap on software updates. I'll tap on download and install. You see, we have got the security patch for July 2024. The size is about 538.09 MB and the version number ends with AXFC and it says One UI version 6.1. Now in the change log, there is nothing new here. It's all about the device stability improvements and bug fixes and the security. Uh, and it also says after updating, you will not be able to downgrade to the old software because of the updates to the security policy. If you go ahead and update the software, you will not be able to downgrade to the old software because of the security policy. This is what is mentioned here. So with this security patch, the security vulnerabilities have been fixed for the Galaxy S24 series. Now the size is of course slightly higher than what we got on the S22 and S23 series. It was somewhere around 450 uh, MB. For S24 series, the S24 Ultra, I have received 538.09 MB of size. Let me know what is the size you have got on your S24 series. Drop a comment. Now let me tap on download and install here. Uh, this will get downloaded in a few seconds and I'll install it. And then let's go ahead and see if there is any new changes. And I'll come back to you guys in a few seconds. Let's see the animations. Let's see, let's talk about the battery performance on this device as well. It's downloaded. I will tap on install now. It is going to take a couple of minutes. I will come back to you in a jiffy. Now the phone has been updated. Let's open the quick panel here and see if there is any lag or status here. Nothing as such, let's uh, go to the app tray here. No lags, the animation look pretty cool. Let's press and hold on the home screen. Good. Let's open a few applications now. Calculator, phone dialer, calendar, camera, Galaxy Store. Let's go to the recent applications. You see, it looks pretty cool. Animations are good. No lags here, no stutters. Let me close the application. Let's close all of them here. It all looks good. Now coming to the battery performance on this device, I'm getting more than a day's battery performance uh, without any issues. Since the day I got the phone, I never had any issues with respect to the battery performance. Uh, I do remember uh, seeing some of the comments where you guys mentioned that the battery life deteriorated on this device especially after One UI 6.1 update. Uh, however, I did not notice any such issues. If the issue still persists on your device, you can go ahead and do a factory reset. Uh, you can do a factory reset without losing your data. You can back up the data. On Galaxy phone, we get unlimited data backup for a factory reset. And the data that you back up will remain in the cloud for about 30 days. You can restore it any day you want. To do this, all you need to do is just go to the settings, search for factory reset, or you can just go to the factory reset settings directly. You see, we're Got factory data reset here. This is where we can temporarily back up the data to cloud. It says backup unlimited data to Samsung cloud for up to 30 days or restore data you have backed up. Now this is a very convenient way of backing up your data and uh, restoring it for a factory reset. So do go ahead, perform a factory reset on your Galaxy phone if it is facing any battery issues or lags. Now that is what I would like to suggest to you guys. Now you let me know how is the battery performance on your Galaxy S24 series, which phone do you own, where do you live, uh, mention your country and uh, drop a comment and let the community know about the uh, battery performance, the battery screen on time on your phone, that would help the community. That's a quick update about this particular uh, security patch. Now, if you're interested in this wallpaper, I have left a link for that in the description. You can go ahead and download it. And the widget link is also available in the description. This is a beautiful looking informational widget we have got here. This is from a KWGT widget pack called One UI. You can download the application from the links in the description. You need to make sure that you are a pro KWGT app user. And then you install the widget pack and you will be able to set it up. I have made tutorial video for that. If you want to know, uh, do drop a comment. I will share the link for that video. And I I would also like to tell you that this is a brand new case that I've got. This is from Banks, and here we have got the Z Fold 6 here. This also has got a brand new case here. You can see there are some very cool looking cases, protective cases, and I also have a couple of more thin fit cases from Banks. 
uh, if you're interested to buy them you can go ahead and check out the links in the description i have also posted a video uh, about the uh, these cases i will link it up in the description if you are interested in these cases you can go ahead and uh, click the link in the description use the promo code apex15 to get 15 percent discount on all these cases that's all i want to share with you guys thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye